Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to do, where did I put it? Right here. FabFitFun Edit Cell unboxing. I have actually taped this. Didn't clear out the memory on my camera and my daughter came and did what every child in the two to six year range do and didn't want to go to bed and interrupted and I realized that I ran out of camera space. So I'm retaping this. Hopefully I do not get a visit from her again, but if I do, bear with me. She's at least quite adorable. So um, before I get into the FabFitFun edit cell for winter, I'm going to be doing a couple extra videos. I normally upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. If you guys are new to my channel, it's a lifestyle beauty unboxing yada 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 channel. So um, either tomorrow or Monday, I'm going to do these bad boys, but I wanted to tell you about them tonight because the sale on these ends tonight. These are on for $15, normally $50, um, and that sale ends. I suspect they'll keep them at the more discounted price, maybe not quite as low as $15, but definitely buy these bad boys at the $15 price. I think you'll feel kind of bad if you don't. Um, if you're at all interested, just FYI, but I'll go over these boxes probably tomorrow. Um, what was the other thing I was going to tell you? Oh, I have a Sephora lip favorites that I will go over, um, probably when I do these kits. And then, um, I also wanted to do a video on ColourPop because I got my ColourPop mystery bag. It's sitting in a mail, my the mailbox today. So I will go get that tomorrow. Um, but I got this like two days ago. <clears throat> I had to show you guys this beauty. This, this is the brand new purple. It's my pleasure palette. Oh, it's so freaking beautiful. You guys know I love purples. Obviously, I've been playing around with the purples on the Hisina 2 palette. And look at, oh, like my heart is so happy with all these purples. Um, back in the day, I used to wear purple eyeshadows all the time. And then I got back into makeup and purples were like super hard to find and out. And like all my old makeup was super expired. And so I had to throw all my purple stuff out and it was, it was an adjustment. And now I like the warmer tones, but it just makes me so happy to see the purples back because I just absolutely adore them. But this palette is freaking, I just, it's, it's like, it's beautiful. I mean, and there's a bunch of duochrome shadows in here. I mean, these aren't even me swatching very good, but beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, they're doing these monochromatic palettes now. They have the um, Ooh La La, which I haven't gotten. For whatever reason, I like pink palettes, but that one hasn't really called to me. But this one, and then there's rumor there's gonna be a green palette. But I'll go into more of this, play with some looks, really swatch this out, go over all the stuff about this either tomorrow or Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I also have my Ipsy regular bag versus my Sephora Play, which should be here any day. And I'll do those um, bags against each other. I have a FabFitFun um, clothing subscription box coming in that I will do as soon as I get it. And at some point I will upload my Stitch Fix if I ever get around to editing it. That one's a bit of a pain. Anyway, a little bit about the edit cell and then I'll actually show you guys the goodies. I only spent about $100. They did give a um, add-on credit to pretty much anyone that was like an active on the forums. And I think it's really good if you have a membership to be active on the forums because you get a lot of really good information. Um, so I was, I was a little bit better on this one. These sales have been going on since about spring of last year. That's about the time I joined FabFitFun. I did buy an annual membership. So I have it through the next spring box or this coming spring box. Um, this annual gets you discounted on all the boxes, but it also gets you early access to pick through the stuff, um, and put it in your cart early. Uh, that has not stopped some issues with it. Uh, I did not have any of those issues, but I heard lots of other people having issues. So one of the issues people had is that stuff they had in their cart from day one, or they refreshed like crazy to get, ended up being out of stock. And that was really frustrating because you paid the money up front and then they refunded you. And especially for people who are in Canada, they actually lose money with the exchange rate. So that's a little 
crummy. The other thing is the sale started on the 26th of December and ended, I believe, on the 7th of January. And most of the people, except for a small percentage, did not get their stuff mailed out till exactly two weeks after that. I was one of those people. They charged me right when it ended and they shipped it out literally the day before they said was the last day. And then there are some people they just weren't able to get to. And those people, I believe, got a credit. So a lot of people were upset. Um, a lot of their boxes were mispackaged. I think the company is growing really large. I personally have not had, beyond my stuff being shipped a little late, which really didn't upset me, I didn't have a lot of issues with this. So I'm just going to get into this. Um, I didn't go crazy this time. I really bought things that either were repeat favorites or things that I kind of needed to, to fill in my collection. First item here is the Simply Whimsical Tea Towels. We got these in the fall box and I actually really, really like these. So believe it or not, ignore this room and it's horrible poopy brown color because this is what my uh, house looked like pre us painting most of it. This room has not been redone. Um, most of my house has a really pretty gray theme to it. Gray, cream, blues, just really clean. And this really goes with my decor quite nicely. So I really liked these. I actually went on the Simply Whimsical website right after and wanted to buy more of these because two was not enough. And I actually use these more than just decorative. I know you're supposed to use these as a decorative type thing, but I use these as everyday dish towels, quite honestly. Um, and they have really, really stood up quite well. Even though they're very thin, they actually are doing quite well. I've washed them and uh, in the washing machine and dried them a bazillion times and used them on messy kids and they haven't stained and they're holding up really nicely. So I wanted more, but when I looked on the website, they were sold out. <coughs> Excuse me. So I maxed out. So each one comes with two and I bought three of them because Obviously, I want to max them out. So I have eight total now. I really liked them. Some people thought they were a major miss for them. For me, I liked them. I actually really, really liked them. This is a style that I would have picked out on my own. So getting them at that super discounted price was quite nice because these are not that cheap at full price. And I don't think I'd pay full price, but that's okay. All right. Next item here is one that I didn't initially think about getting until I saw the reviews on the forums. And this is the ORG Skincare Mineral Peel Body. And this has um, a lot of different ex extracts, fruit extracts. So uh, the AHAs basically, it's a peel, chemical peel, and um, it has uh, aloe in there and cucumber and grape extract. And there is some retinol. I didn't realize that when I first purchased that. So just to be aware when you use this, um, be a little cautious about your sun exposure, uh, and then grapefruit. So this, this is supposed to be a very gentle peel. When I taped it the first time I did spray a little bit on me. It burned for a second for me, not like bad, uncomfortable burn, but it, it didn't burn horribly. Um, so interestingly enough, when I was reading, there was a, the body peel and then the facial peel and the ingredients list were almost identical. There was like an extra moisturizer or something added to the facial peel. Otherwise, the active ingredients were essentially the same and everybody was saying, yes, you can use this on your face. This is a much, much bigger bottle. This is like twice as big as the facial and it costs like eight bucks cheaper. So I went ahead and went with the body one. I'm just gonna put a little bit um, back here. So what it, it has kind of a weird smell. smell. Like it almost, I can almost smell the like a grapefruity smell. I was trying to figure it out earlier, but you're supposed to spray this on, leave this on for a couple seconds, and then what did they say? Three seconds, and then use your fingertips to gently exfoliate. And this is really cool. Um, when you do this, you can see. I don't even know if you can see because my light here. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. That is it exfoliating. And some people have said that's the chemical, but I actually really think that is the skin. Cause like, have you ever gotten out of shower and like rubbed yourself really good with a towel and you get that, like that little stuff, like, you know, crumbling up and it's your old dead skin cells. So that's really cool. And then you're supposed to rinse it off with a, uh, some water. I'm just going to wipe it off with a makeup, uh, wipe. But anyway, I thought this was really cool. Um, packaging is super duper cute. Uh, but yeah, I'll give this a try. I'm going to try it on my face, even though it is a body peel because 
Like I said, the active ingredients are essentially the same. And you're supposed to use this three to four times weekly. So this is a very interesting, intriguing project product. So this is something different that I'm gonna try. This is the R Co Crown Scalp Scrub. This came in a nice baggie, which I was really happy because um, it did not have a safety seal. So this would have been something that would have like spilled all over the place. But uh, I use the DP Hue ACV Scalp Scrub right now and it stinks. It works really nicely, but it smells. It has Himalayan sea salt. This smells so much better. This has sugar in it as its main ingredient. And then it has water as its next main ingredient. And it is free of like parabens and sulfates and petroleum and mineral oils, kind of the things that you don't really want to gunk up your hair and scalp. And it's the granules are really nice and thick in this, which is awesome. So to get down to my scalp, I will be able to get this out. Um, I've tried some some um, scalp scrubs that are very fine. And if you have thicker or longer hair, forget about it. That stuff's never coming out of your hair. It's like getting sand in your hair. This I think will work really nicely. I love that the bottle is a squeeze bottle. It smells good, which is already a plus against the um, other one that I use. And I think the sugar will not be quite as dehydrating as the salt. Water still likes to go where sugar is, but I don't think it'll be quite to the extreme as the salt. I feel like the salt kind of fries my hair a little bit. And if I do that deeper scrub, I have to do a very heavy leave-in mask after it or else my hair just looks awful. Um, so anyway, I will give this a really good try. I'm super excited about this. Um, but anyway, there's that. Next item here is the May Love Night Cream Glycolic Acid Cream. I originally wasn't gonna open this, but now that I think about it, I'm gonna open it because this will be the next night cream that I get into. If I can open it, here we go. So I realized the other day when I ran out of my night cream that I had been using that I only had really one night cream and I had a bunch of creams that really were better for daytime creams, like thinner, lighter, and I like a heavier, thicker night cream. So I saw this May Love. I've never used their products, but it has really, really good reviews. And this was called the Night Renewer with Glycolic Acid Cream. Um, my uh, Kate Somerville, the Glow Lotion, I can't, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it has glycolic acid, it has AHA in it. And uh, it's great. I use it during the daytime when I haven't used glycolic acid another time. The problem is, is it's a little thin for nighttime usage. So I was actually really excited about this. They do say to use three nights per week until your skin gets used to it. You may get some burning and tingling. Um, I tend to not be irritated by glycolic acid. If you can see it here, there, it looks nice and thick. They had this on here. It just has a really like clean scent. It really doesn't have much of a scent. So that is definitely thicker than my other one, but it's not like super thick. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna probably use this as my next night cream and see how I like it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is made in the US. I don't really know much else about this brand. All I've heard is just really good things about it. So we will see, but yeah, first ingredient is water, then glycolic acid. Um, and then it does have some flower extract, some arenic Montana flower extract. And I'm trying to see if there's any other really interesting, it does have aloe vera in it and squalene. So it has some really good products in there or chemicals that will make this a good, good find. So that was one thing I realized I needed because I was getting low. I'm also getting a little low on my different facial scrubs and so I wanted to try this one. This is the Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. This has amazing reviews um, and this is has little walnut pieces in it and um, smells like pumpkin spice. So if you don't like pumpkin smell, don't get this, but this is what it looks like. It's just kind of that creamy color. And then if you can see, I don't know because my light's kind of it out here but can you see those little brown bits that is basically the um it's hard to see because my my light is washing it out but that's little walnut bits oh 
It smells heavenly. Like I have a feeling I'm going to incredibly enjoy this. Um, but yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about it. So I will start integrating this into my facial facial wash, but it says it's good for dry or dull skin. So it's supposed to just kind of slough off your naturally dry skin. For someone like me, this is really good. I need lots of products that will turn over my skin because it gets dry and and dull really quickly and it doesn't allow my oils to penetrate so I have to constantly exfoliate. All right, next product was another Feel product which I have actually previously tried. This is the Feel Pure Anywhere Balm with mint oil and rose. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag and my sample was okay. I remember it being just a little bit gritty but it wasn't horrible but I used it up a while back and so I just thought, hey, this is a good price. Let's see how I like it again. Um, it's literally a clear balm. It says that it's the color rosé. You're supposed to be able to use it on your cheeks. I would not use this on my cheeks. This I would legitimately only use as a lip balm. Um, it has just a tiny bit of grit, not as smooth as some other lip balms, but it smells amazing. It is hydrating. Oh, it smells like mint. It makes me kind of happy. So anyway, I will um, use this up and see if I still feel like it's an okay balm. Like I wouldn't pay full price for this, but for the price that we got it for, I was I was definitely okay with it. This is a new one to me and I just tried it out a few minutes ago. I actually really like it. Um, I have never had any Jouer products, but I heard good things about this. This is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. And um, it smells like roses, like a very faint rose water. And, um, yeah, it doesn't really say much about it. I was trying to see if it had like rose or some other stuff in here. It has shea butter. And that's about it. It has aroma. It says aroma in there. But it feels really smooth. And like when I when I first um, put some on my hand, I thought it was going to be really sticky. I'll show you guys a little bit here. You can't even really see it. But I thought it was going to be sticky. But on the lip, it is very smooth very like silky feeling, not sticky at all. I think I'm going to absolutely enjoy this. This will be great for like a topper or just, you know, to put on my lips throughout the day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. You know where you feel like you're going to sneeze and you can feel it coming out and you can't do anything to stop it. All right, next product here, which again, because I taped this earlier, I took it out of the thing so you didn't get to see the pretty presentation, but it came with this through the hole. This is a little tie that they say you can use as a hair tie, but this is a Key Lux hair turban in Stormy, Stormy something. It's a dark color. I saw this and I was like, oh, I need another one. <laughs> if you guys have not tried these, absolutely need to try these. I absolutely adore these. So there's a Collective Concepts, I think it's Collective Concepts, and the Key brand. And this is my more favorite brand. It is longer. I like it in the turban form. There's a towel form that does not have this little thing with a button and it's shaped just like a long towel, which to me is not that helpful. I absolutely adore this because you put it on your head, twist your hair up, and then do the little button in the front. It is not elastic, but has never had a problem holding this. I like this better than the other brand that they've sold in the past because it is a little bit longer. Even though this is not elastic, it holds my hair better. The other one's like this long. So I have two hair towels. Absolutely love them. I really needed another one. So that's why I went ahead and bought this. Um, yeah, this is definitely worth it. All right. Next product, I have talked about this before, is a cocoa floss. Expensive, expensive floss, but I absolutely love it. And it's like the only floss I can make myself use daily. Um, it's $5, normally $7. But this stuff lasts a long time. Like I am halfway through my current one and I was like, eh, I'm going to buy another one because I'm going to run out and then they're not going to have it for a couple of sales. But um, this stuff is awesome. It is uh, super thick and it's made with coconut oil and I want to say coconut fibers, but I'm probably wrong. But anyway, it's very thick. It's like the only floss that I feel like actually gets between my teeth and gets stuff out of there and it just feels really good. I love it. It's ridiculous how much I love this stuff. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. 
All right. We are now onto my mystery bundle, which I had the M NYS014. I'm looking at my bag, which is now my trash bag. And let me get into the products here. I'm going to show you guys the first thing, which I am going to put in a giveaway. Um, this is the uh, Touch and Soul Metalistic Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo in the color Penny. And I already had this from the fall box, I think. Um, and it's okay. I don't love it because of the, the foil shade does not, it like dries out too much. I do like the lip gloss. I think the lip gloss is really pretty. And I like the color, but I don't need two of these. And I just recently did a lipstick declutter. So pay, you know, if you wanna see that video. And then, um, so that'll go in a giveaway. This is the Dr. D. Schwab Shimmery Sunscreen Lotion, sunscreen with broad spectrum SPF 30, and it says it's 40 minutes of water resistance. Um, and this has titanium dioxide. So this is actually, uh, I believe, more mineral-based. It doesn't say on here, but that's more mineral-based, which is, is better if your skin is sensitive. Um, I have used their... Uh, Facial fluid, I think is what it's called. And I like it, but it's really shimmery, and so I have to be careful when I use it. Um, I'm gonna put this on my wrist since I have. This smells really good for sunscreen. It doesn't have that like typical chemical-y sunscreen. And I'm just gonna rub it in here and see how shimmery it makes me and how long it takes to rub in. I love sunscreen. Obviously, I am pale, I burn. Tanning is not a thing for me. Um, that smells really, really good. It's not like overwhelmingly shimmery. I thought this was going to be like super overwhelmingly shimmery, like their facial fluid, but it's really not. Like that doesn't really give much of a shimmer at all. It just gives like a little glow. So that's actually kind of nice. Um, so this will be really good for the summertime. So I'm actually excited about this. I like sunscreens. I can always use sunscreens. I love when sunscreens actually smell good. So this was definitely a win for me. This is four ounces. This is a decent size, so yay for that. This next product in my mystery bundle I was also not upset about. This is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. Um, and this has a lot of like apple juice and it's a, all these different fruit juices. It has um, aloe juice. Sorry, aloe juice, raisin juice, grape juice, sugar maple, orange fruit extract, lemon extract, sage leaf. I mean, it is like every fruit goodness that you could is in here. And you're supposed to use this uh, daily and then follow with moisturizer and everything. <clears throat> it's without parabens and all the other bad stuff that you don't want in it. Um, and it's also cruelty free, which is nice so this is a nice size and i love that it is in the pump bottle and all the different fruit extracts makes me think that it may even have like a little bit of an exfoliating um aspect to it because of what's in there um but anyway this is four fluid ounces this is nice and i like i said i was needing more more um facial cleanser, so it's always good to have another one in here. And I have yet to try uh, Juice Beauty, so I was excited about this. Um, it's just a kind of a yellowy gel looking. It smells like lemons. I'm not gonna repump it out just because it was a mess when I did that earlier, but uh, I'm very excited about that. So this was a good, so, so far two of my items are hits. And then this last item is kind of interesting, not something I would have picked out, but I will go ahead and keep it and play with it. Um, this is the Way of the Will 03 Soothe and Cool Peppermint and German Chamomile Post Massage Training Post Training Massage Oil. So I'm curious how people have been using this oil. I don't really work out very much, although I'm planning to start running and stuff again like I used to. So I'm wondering if people use this after working out. Do they rub it into like their calves and stuff, or is this more like when you just need a massage? Um, so it says, for optimal use, apply on clean skin after a shower when skin is damp, and then massage into the affected areas. Uh, so this has uh, some apricot, kernel oil, jojoba, seed oil, sweet almond, peppermint, spearmint, lemongrass, 
Oh, I was smelling the lemongrass earlier. And then the German chamomile. It smells really good. Like it's very, like I can definitely smell the lemongrass now that I think about it. So this is more of like a, I feel like a soothing, like relaxing type smell. Um, so I'm curious, have anyone else tried this and what they, they kind of used it with or how they used it? Cause I'm kind of new to this. This is the first time I've had this type of post workout massage oil. I just don't own any. This bottle is really, really nice by the way. It's glass and this is a decent amount, two fluid ounces. Like I'm sure this is going to take me a while. So all in all, I don't love my, um, mystery bundle, but it's not bad. Like I, I think I got my money's worth. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video and I completely meant to, if you have not already, please, please, please don't forget to enter into my, um, 250 appreciation subscriber giveaway. It is open through mid February and I can't remember. I think it's like the 20th or 22nd, but anyway, I'll put the link above and below and at the beginning of my video so that you guys have it. And it has the full details of how to enter, but basically you have to be a subscriber with it visible. So I can see at the time of the closing, who is a subscriber like that particular video. And there is a specific thing I want you to comment below on the video to be able to be entered. Um, but all the rules are in depth there. Any questions you have about it and everything. And my email's there if you guys have a question about that. I will announce the winner the day after the um, closing so I can basically verify everything, pick a winner and all that stuff. But if you have not, there are three gigantic boxes of goodies and I go over what's in each of them. There are gonna be at least two winners. And if I get to 500 subscribers, there will be three winners. Um, so I'll go into all of that, but please, please, please check it out if you haven't already. And um, yeah, anyway, so uh, extra videos this week, be on the lookout. There'll be at least one more between now and Tuesday. Normally I don't release another video until Tuesday, but I am going to release at least one more video. And then I'll do Tuesday's video and then Thursday's videos. I will be going tonight. So this is going to be very interesting for filming because this entire month of February, I'm working nights. So I think I will probably release videos a little earlier than I have been now because I tend to release these late at night. I will probably release these midday or early morning just given when I'm going to be working. So anyway, I will keep you guys up to date so you know when to look out for my videos. But thanks everyone. Thumbs up. Give me some likes. <laughs> uh, please share this video with anyone you would think would enjoy it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the warning bell so you wouldn't know when my videos are up. All right. Thanks guys.